Tana, on top of developing stories out of St. Pete, where police just released new information about two cold case investigations. First, they have now identified the victim in the infamous 1969 Trunk Lady case. New DNA evidence identified her as Sylvia June Atherton, a 41-year-old mother of five from Tucson, Arizona, with no known ties to St. Pete. Her body was found in a steamer trunk on Halloween behind a bar on 34th Street South. But the question remains, who killed her? Right now, investigators are still trying to piece that together. But they did say they are curious about why her husband never reported her missing. He passed away in 1999 before they could get answers to that. Her family is asking for your help finding any clues about her murder. And tonight, another St. Pete family gets closure in a separate cold case investigation. 18-year-old Richard Juicy Evans was killed 26 years ago. 10 Tampa Bay's Malik Rankin explains how investigators revisited old evidence to close this case. Yes. He had over 2,000 people to his funeral. Well known, All very well known, very respectable. And, and we miss him. At 18 years old, Richard Juicy Evans was shot in an alleyway. He died from his injuries and the case went cold very quickly. We were able to get a very, very detailed description of the subject at that time that was responsible for taking his life, including mannerisms and a description of uh, who did it, but it never materialized. The only thing police officers had to find their suspect was a bicycle left in this area. Decades after Richard Juicy Evans was killed, detectives revisited his case. It was then the fingerprints pulled from the bicycle had a match. The suspect was arrested on separate charges after Evans' death. That arrest put his prints in the system. The suspect at the time was only 15 years old uh, and had p passed away within the last year or two. We have shared that information with the family. Police are not releasing the name of the suspect. For the family, their knowing is enough. Closure. Closure. How I am so grateful because I thought I was going to, I'm 65. I thought I was going to leave the world not knowing who took my child's life. Yes. In St. Pete. Malik Rankin, 10 Tampa Bay. Evans family tells us they've lost a handful of family members to gun violence over the last few decades, including his son, who was killed at the same age as his father.